From its lofty perch in a nutmeg tree, the Pawi sees another sunrise. She doesn't know if she'll see another. The Pawi is one of the world's most endangered bird species. Few people have ever seen it in its natural habitat in the rainforest of northeastern Trinidad. The Pawi is a large black turkey-like bird. Many of its wing feathers are white-tipped, often forming a checkered-like pattern on the wing. Slender black feathers, edged with white, make up its crown. The bird has a light blue face, black beak, brilliant blue wattle extending from its throat, and red feet. The Pawi are usually seen in small groups or individually, and usually when feeding. Their diet consists of fruits, seeds, leaves and flowers of forest species, as well as some domestic um, crop species that may have been introduced into their habitat. The Pawi is important to the National Park and Grand River on a whole, because one, it's, the, it's one of the island's endemic birds. Um, it's on the endangered species list, and Grand River is one of the easiest viewing points on the island for that bird. The Pawi is famous for being the largest fruit-eating bird in Trinidad and Tobago. This allows for the Pawi to disperse much larger seeds than other birds. Seed dispersal by Pawi has been decreasing because the population itself has been decreasing. This may cause threats to the health of our local forests. The researchers have found that the Pawi population has decreased significantly from thousands of birds to less than 200 worldwide. The Pawi is also a main attraction for ecotourism in the Matura National Park. The bird's naturally curious and social nature has become the root of its misfortune as it is easily preyed upon by hunters. They also have a tendency to avoid long flights and therefore hardly evade nearby hunters. Man's intervention has also threatened the bird's habitat. The clearing of forest land for timber agriculture and housing means less place for the Pawi to hide, feed and care for its young. Pawi usually lay two to three eggs per clutch. However, um, not all of these eggs will make it to adulthood. And the slow growth rate of the species also leads to concern for the recovery of the species. The Pawi also has natural enemies and young hatchlings who have not yet left the forest floor are easy targets for a hungry ocelot, tyra, snakes, or even hunting dogs. These activities continue to jeopardize the future of these unique birds and could result in the extinction of a species from the planet. The Pawi was designated as an environmentally sensitive species by the EMA in 2005. It is also protected under the Conservation of Wildlife Act. In addition to protecting the species through designation, the EMA has also designated the Pawi's main home range in the Matura National Park as an environmentally sensitive area. According to the Environmental Management Act, one can be fined up to $100,000 and face imprisonment for up to two years if one commits an offense, as outlined in the EM Act, against an ESA or ESS. The Forestry Division is one of the key agencies responsible for enforcing laws that protect the threatened species. The Pawi is also the focal point for a number of scientific research projects. These studies are aimed at gaining a complete understanding of this threatened species. There's a lot we need to learn about the Pawi. Researchers are still trying to find out more about its habitat preferences, its breeding biology, its diet, the health of the species and its general behaviour. It's, I will say, dear to say, it's one of our national treasures. We, it's something that we need to protect and conserve. You used to get them all over now, you get them mainly in the northern or the northeast range of Trinidad. But my group, together with other NGOs such as Brasseco, um, group outside Matura. We do a lot of environment work and protection in Pawi um, with other state agencies such as EMA to help protect and conserve a wonderful species like this in order for the youths and them to benefit and know what this animal is about. 
public education strategies uh, target both children and adults and include informative and interactive programs such as workshops and presentations, CDs, signs, posters, brochures, anything that can get the information across to the public. For over a hundred years, the Pawi has survived the countless natural and man-made threats. And now, it faces some of its darkest days. But man also holds the key to its future. Awareness, education, and respect for this environmentally sensitive species will ensure many more sunrises for her and her family.